Congrats, you've made it to the very last B vitamin. Welcome to B12, otherwise known as cobalamin. B12 is probably the most tested B vitamin, so we'll spend extra time covering the important points. Tonight, we're going out to watch some Lucha Libre, because why not? And for those who aren't familiar with Lucha Libre, it literally means freestyle wrestling in Spanish. Think pro wrestling with larger-than-life characters and over-the-top flashy moves. Yes, the matches are predetermined, but hey, who doesn't like seeing juiced-up mask-wearing luchadors getting their butts kicked? And on that note, let's go over everything you need to know about B12, represented by our recurring symbol of cobalt fireworks. This luchador's animal mask and tights will serve as a reminder that B12 is found in animal products. Gut microbiota also make B12, but not enough to justify as a significant source. Unlike most other B vitamins, the liver can actually store B12. And to remind you of that, we'll add a liver-shaped fireworks bin. B12 stores can last up to five years, so that's good to know if you're considering skipping that T-bone steak anytime soon. All right, so why do we need B12? Well, for one thing, B12 is a cofactor for methylmalonyl-CoA mutase and methionine synthase. Methylmalonyl-CoA mutase turns methylmalonyl-CoA, which comes from the breakdown of odd-chain fatty acids and branched-chain amino acids, into succinyl-CoA. The mutant masked luchador drinking melon cola out of a metal can is metal melon cola mutase. Wait, that can't be right. I'm sorry, methylmalonyl coa mutase. Watch the vomit pathway sketch for more information. Let's draw another luchador. He's wearing a mountain lion mask and holding a big screwdriver. I'm not sure weapons are allowed, sir. Ah, whew. He's just methionine synthase. This enzyme synthesizes methionine from homocysteine. To learn more, watch the homocysteineuria sketch.